Welcome guys in this new lecture of machine learning and data analytics using Eltrix. So in this video series we are going to start data analytics and machine learning using Eltrix tool. So let's jump on to the Eltrix. Okay, so before starting machine learning in Eltrix, there is one software that you need to download and that is called AI Intelligent Suit. It is approx 1.6 GB software some type of add-on that you need to work on with Eltrix machine learning part. So I've already downloaded it and so we are all set to start a, a new the first practical in machine learning. Okay so I have written the question here. The question is that a company is spending hundreds of dollars on advertising its product on TV, radio and newspaper and the impact of advertising is shown on the sales also but the management somehow feels that the money expenditure on advertisement in newspaper is not giving appropriate results in sales improvement and as a data analyst now your job is to verify that management is correct or not okay so before starting anything let me just bring the data set here for that i'll be using this input data tool here so let me drag it here files xlsx and this is the data set advertising data set open so there is only one sheet in this advertising data set okay and now let me run this okay so we can see that there are 200 record displayed here tv radio newspaper and sales and as the language in the question says that the data shown here is the amount of dollars spent on the advertising in different platforms like TV, radio and newspaper and their sales improvement record is also shown here. Let me see the metadata. So the data type is double, size is 8 bytes. Okay. So before starting the real ML problem, let's first see what is the relationship between these things so for that there is one tab here called data investigation and we'll be using this association analysis so let me bring it here okay so as you can see there is one it is asking for a target field so let's select the target field the target field will be the sales and how our target level of interest is associated with the input field so let me check TV, radio and newspaper. So basically I want to see how these three factors are related to the sales. Okay, how they are associated. And in terms of machine learning, basically we are interested in seeing the correlation. So we'll be using this Pearson product moment correlation here. Uh, we can you can also try this Spearman rank order or Hofding's D statistic. I'll be using this Pearson product. So for this, we'll be using this browse tool. Now there are two outputs. One output will give the report and other output will give the interactive report. So basically one is report, simple report and other is some interactive report. So let's, let's run this and see the outputs. Now yeah, you have to be a bit patient while using this machine learning in Eltrix because it may say take some time basically on an average it can take up to maximum 50 seconds so here let's see so this is the correlation matrix let me just broaden it okay so if you see this is a correlation matrix between the factors between the parameters so obviously the correlation of tv with tv is one and with sales it is showing 90 percent Similarly, sales with sales will be 1, with radio it is 0.35%, with newspaper it is 0.16%. Okay, so let's, let's see how scatter plot is doing here. So TV and sales, if I click on this section in the right side, the scatter plot will be generated. So if you see, there is a linear increase in the sales when we are spending more on TV. In fact, sales is increasing linearly. 
similarly if we click on this uh, radio and sales section and scroll this we see that still still it is increasing it is it is distributed all over the graph but it is increasing okay as the sales as the newspaper as the radio ad is increasing the sales is also increasing it is not uh, confined it is scattered all over but it is increasing let's see the newspapers okay so this is newspaper and this is sales and we can see that as we are spending more on newspaper sales is not doing that good in fact sales is confined to this part only and here it is not increasing up to that much so this is what this interactive report is showing it is giving some hint that okay newspaper is not doing as much as the company had expected let's see what report is showing okay so the report is showing that in in terms of some tables and numbers so this is more focused analysis this is full correlation matrix that we just saw so tv is 90 percent most correlated with the sales radio is 34 percent newspaper is 15 percent only 15 percent correlated with the sales okay so now we have got a good idea okay that we can use some linear regression problem here because the things are linearly related so for that again there is one tab here that is predictive let me click on this tab and here is linear regression so let's bring this linear regression here only okay so this is linear regression and if we select this linear regression we can see the setup is here model name so let me name it say uh, L R say 1 you can name it obviously anything then we have to select the target the target is sales of course and then we have to select the predictor variable now the predictor variable and the target variable if you are familiar with machine learning this is nothing but the independent and the dependent variables so the dependent variable is sale and the independent variable I have to choose so for this thing I'll be choosing all the three factors all these three things I'll be using another linear regression model here let me use this also and then what I'll do let me name it LR2 LR2 again the target will be sales but this time I'll be using only TV and radio I'll be excluding this newspaper column so what I'm going to do I'll I'll be checking the errors I'll be checking the root mean square error or mean absolute or any sort of error basically I'm interested in root mean square error and my idea is that the root mean square error what I am getting here when I'll be using all the three parameters all the three independent variables TV radio newspaper and the root mean square error that I am getting here when I am ex excluding this newspaper if they are same if they are same it means that this newspaper is redundant the amount we are spending on newspaper advertisement is all going in vain so let's select the browse tool and we'll be going to use this interactive report here and now let's run this again uh, the basic idea is that using machine learning in Altrix you have to be familiar with the machine learning basic terms you have to be familiar with the Altrix basic terms okay all these things are done in pandas using R and different languages using Python just here I am showing you how powerful this Altrix software is we are going to use all those things that we use in pandas using python without writing a single line of code here in altrix okay all done so let's see let's see the report of this li2 so we are getting this r square we are getting this adjusted r square okay mean absolute error percentage error mean square error okay this is what i am interested in root mean square error 
So if I have chosen TV and radio excluded newspaper then the root mean squared error that I am getting is 1.645. Just remember this thing 1.645. Let's see what root mean square I am getting here. 1.645 and let's see what I am getting here. Again the root mean square error is 1.645. So now as a data analyst my job is over I have verified that yes management you are correct the advertising expenditure on newspaper is completely going in vain and we can stop that and save that money for the company. So that was our first machine learning model project for Altrix. Hope you like it and we'll meet in the next lecture. Thank you.